Good morning. Day five, the final day. From here in Colbeck, about 15 miles following the river to Carlisle. I've had a very comfortable stay at this lovely little campsite. Colbeck Camping, five pound a night, highly recommended. And that is the best shower I've ever had at a campsite. The shower tray was double size and you could actually swing a cat inside for once. And the Cumbria Way actually goes right through the middle of the campsite. I'm on it now. So no messing about. Let's get on with it. A last look back to the Lake District Fells. That's Carrick Fell on the left there. And that one there is High Pike that I came over yesterday on my way into Colbeck. <laughs> Good start so far, three or four miles from the campsite along the river and through the meadows and through the wooded areas. Very tranquil, peaceful. <sighs> Just cross the river back there up onto the other side and um, I think it's going to spend a few miles away from the river and then join up again later on. seven miles in break time I'm having a very enjoyable morning it's been like a walk through the Shire this morning hasn't it <laughs> ah it's been very tranquil and relaxing in a just carried a rucksack 60 miles through the mountains kind of way but you know what I mean I think I've had this section today in um, in very good conditions. It's it's dry, but it's not bone hard. Um, the paths are not overgrown, although they might be in a few weeks. And um, and it's uh, it's very pleasant conditions. The uh, the temperature's just right. The river's uh, beautiful sound to to walk along with. It's like a companion on your right side for the whole way. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. K 
cows on the path again. I'm gonna to have to give them a wide berth, which means going down this bank and round them. Don't follow me down here. <laughs> They're all looking at me. Look. They weren't cows, they're all bullocks. Oh, blimey. Two of them started to chase me. I had to turn and stand and put my hand up. <laughs> my heart's racing now. I thought there was one bull amongst all the cows, but then, because he was really muscular, you know? And as I went round, I thought, none of them have got udders. <laughs> They're all bullocks. <sighs> I survived. We cross the river again here at Bridge End. And I've just seen a signpost that says Carlisle five miles. <laughs> It always cheers me up when I'm in the last five miles. Cool. Just arriving in Dalston now. Looks like a nice village. Here we are in the middle, that's the supermarket. There are benches, nice picnic areas, pubs, probably a cafe somewhere too. Very nice. I thought I could smell fish and chips. The Dalston Fryer. And next door, the Blue Bell Inn. It'd be a cracking place to stay if it wasn't so close to Carlisle. So it's 11 miles to Dalston and it's only one o'clock so I'm making good progress today. Not surprising because it's flat compared to every other day. <laughs> I've got bags of time and uh, I should be finished in about two hours because it's only four, four miles or so. So nearly there. Some people criticise this last day, but I'm two miles from Carlisle and it still looks like this. It's a beautiful walk. Nearly at the end now, closing in on Carlisle Centre. And uh, like I did on the East Island Way last year, I just pulled together my thoughts on this, which didn't take very long because I know, I know the Lake District very well, as I said right at the start. And it really has been like visiting old friends I've enjoyed it. There are a few other things though which uh, perhaps you'd like to hear from my point of view and that is that it's um, quite a bit harder than I anticipated doing the way obviously the steep climbs and the hard work and the bog sections uh, in the mountains there. It's tempting to think that because it doesn't go over uh, the summits of the mountains or at least only one um, that it's going to be quite easy walking in the valleys you know but it's still hard going because the paths are not flat often um, they're often with um, bouldery rough walking trails and um, it's often there's lots of water in occasions which you have to skirt around or go through and navigating sometimes can be a problem because as I said earlier there aren't that many signs and there's a lot of variations and paths running here, there and everywhere, all over the way, right from Ulverston through to Carlisle. So it is quite a challenge. It's certainly not easy. It's 
there are other trails that I've done are way easier than this and I took five days to do this and I'm pretty whacked to be honest <laughs> so happy but whacked <laughs> so that's my thoughts on the Cumbria way Finally we crossed the river again, quite close to the end and just over there is the cathedral and the finishing point is just next to that. There's Carlisle Castle over there, it's all covered up for some restoration work or something. I only came for a view of the castle. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. So this is where the finish is, at the Market Square in the centre of Carlisle. It's very nice here today. Here's the Tourist Information Centre, which some people finish at, but there isn't actually an official marker stone. Very nice today. Well, five days, 73 miles of visiting old friends. It's turned out as I hoped. <laughs> I've had a good time. It's been rather more rough and up and down than I remember some of those walks, but, um, but I really enjoyed it nonetheless. And um, there's one more ritual that I've got to do before I sign off on this hike. So uh, I wonder what that is. Ritual? Did you guess what it is? Cheers. Oh, man. Well deserved and delicious. See you on the next one.